好，欢迎收看由中央广播电视总台财经节目中心主办的大型融媒体行动“走村直播”看脱贫。Online presented by CCTV Finance. Today we have come to the Bulungo Village in the Dongxiang Autonomous County in the northwest of Gansu Province. 那在直播开始之前呢，我也是要提醒大家可以通过央视财经客户端、央广经济之声和中国交通广播来收听收看我们的节目。同时呢，呃，走村直播为家乡点赞的活动还在继续，每天有十次机会为您的家乡点赞。呃，排名前十还可以有。Every day, you can also make a vote for your village and for your town. Today we are at a public square, and here we are organizing an exhibition for the promotion of agro products. For example, this is the agro food processed by the local people. This is the mutton, and we grab it by hand. Now, I'd like to have a bite. This mutton is very delicious, and is very tasty. And I'd like to. Make a small interview with our cook. How did you make it? Because it's tasted different from what I used to taste. Because here the sheep and goats they are based on traditional and very bio feeds, so we don't add in artificial ingredients. And then for the preparation, we only add three ingredients. Like the pepper and the salt, and also another spice. So I can taste the salty mutton, and very few ingredients integrated, integrated into the dish can best present the beauty of the mutton. And then, this is the quinoa. It has a very high content of protein, up to sixteen to eighteen percent, and then we have the dried quinoa. And I've noticed that here we have ten thousand mu of plantation of quinoa. This is also one of the major revenue source. And also, we have the herbal tea, and those herbs can also be made into toothpaste. And here, we are doing some pasta food. For example, here in the form, in the shape of the flowers. And also in the heart shape, in the leaf shape, and those ladies are making the pasta. So you are making this pasta called you guo guo. How do you make it? Could you please give us an、um, introduction? This is in the shape of a bird. It's made of flour, and then you will cook it with oil, fry it in the oil. I also would like to learn after you. Please show me an example. This has a very special color. It comes from the dragon fruit. This red color. And what about this green color? It comes from the spinach. 
you also have the most. So now we are trying to make a flower shape. Now I cannot make it. Mime is not as pretty. Then I have to attach the other pieces to that one. Okay, I give up. And I know that here in the village, they have established a workshop to teach local women and give them opportunities to practice the skills of making yu guo guo, this pasta-based local food. And what about here? They have the soup ingredients for the hot pot. The Sichuan province is famous for hot pot. And what about here in the Gansu province? What makes your hot pot different from that of Sichuan? All the ingredients come from our farms. For example, the oil and the pepper and spices. How much could you produce? It's about 300 times and more of production and all of these could be sold, could be sold out. How many people are working with you? About 30 people working together in that production workshop. So what is their average salary, monthly salary? About more than 3,000 RMB per month. That is already a very good salary. And here they have already developed a lot of businesses to lift more people out of poverty and increase people's revenue. And some more local products to come. Like this is the rose flower and the apricot tea. This is one of the specialty from our village. This apricot used to be a gift presented to emperors in the old dynasties. And now since we have no more emperors, and um, this famous and high quality good is available to everyone. And we have more developed logistic systems so we could ship them towards all the other households in the country. And we also have the goji and for the preparation of this apricot tea, we add goji and apricot and also other jujubes. This is a very good product to help increase the income of the farmers and lift more people out of poverty. It has a very good taste. As you could tell by now that we have a huge variety of local products from the Dongxiang Autonomous County and especially the Bulungo village. All that diverse products could help to lift people out of poverty, not only agro-food, but also some other knitted products. 
and we also have training schools and here in front of us they are the students or the trainees from this training school they are showcasing the techniques that they have already managed and learned from the school This is a special technique to repair the bow, a technique recognized as a cultural heritage of the whole province. After talking about so many interesting products, you must be like me, wanting to have some products, and how could we get some products from the locale. Actually, they have already joined the e-commerce and we have invited the person in charge for the e-commerce in this area. And he will be talking about the ways people are introducing their products to the outside world. And they're also doing the live stream promotion of products online. In recent years, Every year we could sell 4.3 million items of products online and this has efficiently solved the problem of difficulty in sales for the products and this is also a very good way to increase people's income. And now we could make sure that the whole sector is developing very fast. And just now we have presented to you a special product and also a all-star product that is the quinoa. Before giving the floor to my colleague, I'd like to first invite you to listen to a piece of music. Now we are in the Dongxiang Autonomous County in the northwest of Gansu province. This is also one of the major battlefields against the poverty in the Gansu province. In recent years, the Sinochem have developed a big surface of plantation for the cultivation of quinoa. And now I'm at the experimental terrace for the plantation of the quinoa. And many farmers are also involved in the plantation. Good morning. I've noticed that you are doing the harvesting job. How much have you grown? About two more. And now is the harvesting season. What is the expected output that would be satisfying? Have you encountered any technical problems? And how have you solved them? We have technicians to help us. And you must be concerned by the sales of the product. How do you solve this problem? There will be a company to purchase all of our products. And I've noticed that you are using the ripping hook to harvest the quinoa. It's very easy to harvest with this tool. What about the grains? The collection of the grains will be mechanized. 
I have no idea for the moment because we are still waiting for the machine. I'd like to have a try on the sickle. Could you please teach me how to use the sickle? Yeah, it's not very difficult to use. So with one only tool, the sickle, you can harvest the whole land. This is a mature quinoa full of grains. And judging by the status quo of the land, this year the harvest will be a very good one. And for every plant, there is a big quantity of the grains to be collected. And here it's a experimental field. We are using a new variety developed by the local Institute of Agricultural Sciences. And on different parcels of land, we could see that farmers are working on their own. And on the slope of the mountains, we could notice far over there, people are also cultivating the quinoa with this variety. How much have you grown? Five more of land. What about this year's harvest? I think it's quite good. What did you grow in the past? The corn. And what about now? I can have more income because for every move of land, if you grow corn, you can earn around 1,000 RMB. But if you grow this, the quinoa, then you can have 3,000 RMB per move. So that's much better. What about the technical problems? How will we overcome them? There will be experts and technicians coming from the provincial institutes of agricultural sciences. So now you are very confident about this year's harvest and the yield. What about the sales of the quinoa? There will be an authority to take away our harvest, so no worry for the purchase and the sales of the product. Thank you very much. As we mentioned before, here uh, we have the Sinopac to work on this land. They are not only in charge for the cultivation assistance, but also they will take care of the sales. And later, let's have a visit in the workshop. I'm now at the processing workshop for the quinoa of the Dongxiang Autonomous County. And outside, I could already hear the noises of the running machines. So the whole processing factory is in operation. And now I'd like to have a small chat with the chief leader of our factory to know the basic information about this factory. These two big facilities are for the stockage of the original grains of quinoa. What is the volume? to combine about 400 tons of quinoa. So after the harvesting, the 
raw materials will be kept here. What about the processing facility? It's established by the end of 2018. And by February 2019, we have been qualified to start the work. And this year, due to the epidemic, we have postponed the operation of all the machineries till April and May. How many machines do you have? So let's look at this chart. For example, here we have the two barrels, very big barrels for the stockage of the raw materials. For example, you have the input and the output entrance and exit of the raw materials. This is quite a big factory. And this facility is also at a very advanced level. Normally, we need only two people to supervise the operation of the whole production chain. Only two people, right. Because it is a fully automated production line. For example, here we need one person to supervise the machine. This person will be checking if every part of the machine is in good status. And then another person working at the controlling board. So this area could be considered as the brain part of the whole factory. With so many buttons, the buttons to control all the components of the machineries. Every button represents one single machine. And different colors will showcase their status. When the button turns into green color, it means it's activated and it's about to start the work. With every button, it's indicated by the name of its function. If it is green, then it means that this machine is in operation. If there's a problem here, then On the controlling panel, you could see some signals. So for the repairing work is also very convenient. Because there will be some announcements popping up to show you which part has the problem. So that means after sending all the raw materials into the stockage area, the big barrels, and then they will be introduced into the pipelines for the further processing. And for the processing part is almost fully automated, controlled by that brain part of the processing line. And here we have the packaging area. We have the simplified package and more complicated package. This is a package of 500 grams. According to my study, the quinoa has a protein ratio of 16%, and that figure with beef is 18%. So we could see that the protein in quinoa is almost at the same level of that of beef. And apart from the protein, you can also find a lot of other microelements and vitamins inside. For the local producers, they could choose to sell the product to some agencies 
of distribution, or they could also choose to sell the products directly online. So maybe today at your home, your quinoa product comes from the Dongxiang Autonomous Country County. The Provincial Institute of Agricultural Sciences has also given a helping hand to local farmers. And for local people, how much more income has the quinoa generated? Now I'd like to have an interview with one of the leading officials of Dongxiang Autonomous County. Today, what is the benefit brought by this quinoa project to the local people? Years ago, there is a contract or an agreement signed between the local government and the Provincial Institute of Agricultural Sciences as well as Sinopec. In this quinoa cultivation program, we have gradually enlarged the surface of plantation. We have also mobilized more farmers to join us. And this year, it reached 1,685 households living in poverty have joined this program. Over the past three years, we have been focused in the cultivation of the quinoa and also training to farmers as well as processing and packaging. And later, we would like to develop more high-value added product based on quinoa so that these production chain would be extended and we could find more possibilities to increase people's income and lift them out of poverty. Quinoa has become an important pillar for the local economy, and there is another important pillar, that is the animal husbandry. Good morning. I'm now at the Bulongo village from Dongxiang Autonomous County in the northwest of Gansu province. I'm actually at a cooperative, farmers cooperative for the raising of sheep. From inside, we could see a lot of sheep. Some of them are having their breakfast, and some others are taking rest. I'd like to say hi to them. It's so cute. Because these meat sheep is raised mainly for their meat, we have a lot of variety species for the production of meat. And here we have around 200 sheep inside the sheep house. We could tell by their look that they are very healthy and they are leading a very happy life. They are enjoying their happy life here in this environment. And this gentleman in the white costume, my name is Wu Tao. I'm a technician here at the factory. What are you doing now? I'm about to have a preparation of this silage. Silage is the feed for the sheep. This is a silage based on corn with a very high content of nutrition. This is the whole corn silage, so it has a very high ratio of nutrition. 
and it's also one of the favorites of our ship. So today uh, we are about to run a test to see the composition of the nutrition inside the silage. And the silage will be used to feed all the sheep here. Do you have different species of sheep here? Yes. Let's look at here. We have more unified species. And what is the cycle for the slaughtering? First of all, we will have three months of fattening period, and after the fattening period, it's the slaughtering time. During the fattening period, we will have a very strict diet composition for the sheep to make sure that during that three months of fattening period, by the end of that, they could reach the standard for the slaughtering. And in our factory, we have kept different types of houses of sheep. You could also go and make a visit to see different species. We say that in different environments, people will be in different mentality and in different character. And it is also true with the animals. Looking at the local environment, here we have very good natural conditions for the raising of the sheep for mutton. And then people in the Dongxiang Autonomous County, they have a long history of animal raising, especially for the sheep keeping. And they are very familiar with this animal. And in the past, already uh, we have some great experts coming from the farmers. This is Ma Da Wu De. He is the director general of the farmers' cooperatives for the raising of the sheep in the Dongxiang Autonomous County. I'd like to show you around in my area. I know that you have many titles. But you used to be a keeper of the sheep. Yes, when I was a child, I started to keep the sheep. And in the past, this is a very remote area, and the whole area is blocked due to the lack of transportation. And later, I've got a chance to leave the area to find a job in other cities. And then the country has issued a lot of preferential policies to invite people back to their hometown for economic businesses and development. So I decided to come back to my hometown. And today, because we have this program of sheep raising, we can increase the quantity and the quality of the meat. Every year, the slaughtered number could reach 12,000. And I've noticed there are some ventilators. Yes, it is for the ventilation inside the house. We also have facilities to keep the track of the humidity inside the area. And then we have also invited experts and professionals to come to give us some assistance in the prevention and control of epidemics of the animals. What is your name, please? Maya Wubei. You're a local villager. Yes. I work here in the factory. I give the food to the sheep, and I also take care of them. 
I noticed that you are very young and you have choose to stay in your hometown. Yes, because our autonomous county has a long tradition of shipkeeping, so I decided to join this career. I hope that in the future I could have a farm of my own. What is your salary? About 3,000 and more per month. Have you noticed any changes in your life? Yes. My life has completely changed. So I wish you a good career with the sheep. Today in the Bulungo village, people have ensured water supply and also the paved roads. In the past, the people were very dependent on the natural conditions like the rainfall and the weather. But today, they have more facilities to resist their agricultural activities. In the past, the people didn't have so many cutting-edge technologies, but now they could receive more support from the professionals, many more farmer households they have joined our program they have the chance to get two sources of income one is the monthly salary another is the dividends as a shareholder of the farmers cooperatives all those programs are very favorable to living uh, lifting more people out of poverty after checking this point of shipkeeping, we'd like to invite you to the next station and also the next step of the development chain. That is the processing of the mutton. Now I'm also at the other processing factory for the mutton. I'm fully protected, and I will also put on my mask. And now I'd like to show you the inside environment of this processing factory. This is the workshop for the processing of the mutton. This is the only factory for deep processing of the mutton here. We could do the cutting and the, the acetation of the mutton. For the slaughtered sheep is hand here. Later they will be cut and packaged. I'd like to have a chat with Mr. Chen, uh, with Mr. Ma. So could you please talk about this whole line of processing? First of all, we will buy the raw materials from the farmers, and then we will let the meat go into the process of the acidation, and then it's the cutting process. According to the size of the meat piece, they will be packaged. Why do you have to cut them into pieces? If we cut them into different size of pieces, then it could respond to different needs of the customers and it can also help to increase the added value. And until now, the turnover could reach 18 million RMB. This has played a very important role in lifting more people out of poverty in our county. Because we have this program for the poverty alleviation, and then people don't have to worry about the sales of their sheep. And for the finished product, it has a very high quality. So let's go over there to have a taste. 
完整的了解咱们中乡的养产业，所以说是呃辗转了好几个地方。In order to give you more introduction to the local sheep sector of the autonomous county of Dongxiang, we'd like to bring you to the final step for the sheep. That is the restaurant. We are about to taste the mutton that people will usually serve by grabbing. For different parts coming from different areas of the mutton, they can give you different tastes. For example, for the legs of the sheep, you have the fat area and the lean meat at the same time. And for the neck part, it's very chewy. And the local people have already developed their traditions and their patterns of cooking. And for different restaurants, all of them have their own features. And this is Mr. Ma, the owner of this restaurant. I know that you have worked for more than 20 years in preparing the meat. Could you please say something about the cooking process of the mutton? And when we grab the mutton to have a taste, could you please give us some guidelines? When we cook the meat, first of all, we use the pure boiled water, and then we will add local ingredients, for example, the dried ginger and also the dried pepper. This will best present the freshness of the meat. For example, this dish is prepared with the best parts of the meat. Usually when we have a guest here, we would like to recommend them to have a taste of this. And today I'd like to invite you to have a taste on this. So it's my turn now. I just had a very small bite, but it's very good, it's very delicious. The texture is very good. Even the elderly people or the children could also try this portion. And Mr. Ma also told me that the price of the Dongxiang mutton is quite good in the market for the raw meat. For 500 grams, it's sold at 40 RMB, and for the cooked and prepared ones, 70 RMB per 500 grams. And many people from other areas will drive to this area, to the Dongxiang Autonomous County, just for the mutton here. According to the statistics, we have 700 and more restaurants for the mutton involving 10,000 local people. From that, we could tell that Autonomous County of Dongxiang has established a complete development chain based on the sheep. And this is a very good news for the locale because it's a very important source of income for the people. And all the viewers, you are also invited to come to visit Dongxiang Autonomous County. Besides the sheep and the mutton, there is also a very special production.
Apart from the quinoa and also the mutton, another pillar of the economy is the knitting. This is also a very famous product for the locale. The knitting of this area has a long history dating back to the Yuan Dynasty. They have two types of the knitting. For example, this one has a rather rough surface. And over there, a class is going on. So let's go and have a look. Good morning, you are the teacher, right? Yes. Could you please say something about this class? It has started two weeks ago. All of them are the trainees here. So, how much time does it take to graduate? One month only. Oh, really? Because it looks so difficult. I'm the person to carry on this tradition, officially nominated. And after the product, Finish the products, how would you sell them? Today, people could choose to knit for the marriage robes for the brides, and people can also sell the product online. What about the price? It varies. For some products, it could be sold at 200 or 300 RMB per item, and the price would also vary according to the techniques. For example, for the pillow cover and also for the handkerchief. Good morning. You have a different type of needle. Could you please say something about this one? We are using different needles. This one looks like the leaf. And then, could you please showcase a little bit how it works? I'd like to have a try myself. You'll pull it out and stab it in, and you repeat that process. Yes, keep going on, and then the string will be attached to the cloth. How much time have you spent here? Half a month. What is your future plan? You would like to take this as your future career? Yes. Because I could practice this in my free time, my husband has went out to find a job. And since I'm staying at home, I would like to find another job so that I could take care of the house and take care of the children. And at the same time, I could do some extra work like the knitting and weaving.
Oh, it's much more complicated than expected. I give up. Over there are a lot more decorations. You are the teacher, right? Good morning. How many trainees and how much time have they spent here? Uh, they've come to the workshop three days ago and they will stay here for half a month. Some of them are relocated farmers and some others are local farmers. And over there are some more trainees in the same class. So some of them are relocated. They move to the village from other areas. Good morning. What are you making? It's a rose flower. So next step is to put all that together to form the shape of the flower. For one flower like this, including the leaves, I could sell it at 13 RMB. We are the relocated farmers. In the past, we live in the countryside, but it's very com inconvenient over there because the children cannot go to school. So we've decided to move to this village. The children could now have an access to education, and I can learn some new techniques for example, by doing this knitting, I could have an extra of 1,500 RMB. I would like to have a try. Could you please show me the techniques? I've learned knitting before, but just a little bit. I think it looks a little bit easier than the embroidery. Well, finally, I made it for the knitting I learned fast. You could come to join our class. We are the 11th class. The 11th class is over there. Good morning, my classmates. You look very young. How old are you? 17. So you are coming here to learn some techniques. I've also learned some other skills, for example, the cooking skills, e-commerce, makeup. So do you want to find a job elsewhere? Downstairs, there's a restaurant. I've decided to stay, and I will go and work for the restaurant. Thank you. As is mentioned by this young lady, we have a lot of different training programs here. For example, how to cook the pasta, how to make noodles, and how to have the makeup, and how to cook, etc. This is the president of the training school. 
And over there, they are preparing the handmade noodles. The noodles here don't only taste good, but also look very good. We also train people in other areas, for example, the home services. Our training programs and our lesson selections are based on the real needs of the people. We see what kind of skills are needed in finding a job, then we will try to establish those lessons. Already we have uh, one, we have 16,000 students graduated from our school. This is the Chinese cooking. They are practicing with their cooking skills. And over there, the stretch noodles. So you have different classrooms, different programs. Over there for the knitting, maybe there will be more female participants. But for the cooking, more male participants. And here we have the cooks doing the pasta work. We sincerely hope that they could find a very good job in the future with their skills. And here it's a showroom, the costumes for the brides. The teachers are giving lessons for the makeup for bride, hairstyle for bride. You are giving lessons about the hairdressing. Yes, because it's a practical lesson, our students need to accomplish the whole process of makeup and hairdressing for the bride. The st two students, they have already followed the lesson for one month in our training school. And they have started to work in the training station. What about their monthly salary? The basic is 3,000 RMB, and then for every order, they could have an extra bonus. This is a already high salary. How many students have you trained? For this year, 120 of them. And they could all find a job here in our own area. For example, in our training school, training station, we have absorbed some of the graduates, and then some others have found a job in the other uh, shooting studios. So as we could tell here, in the training school, students can not only come and acquire more knowledge and skills, but they could also find a job nearby. Just now, as a student has mentioned, there is a restaurant downstairs, and now I'm heading towards the restaurant. Some tourists and local people have already come to the place to have lunch. This area could now offer 45 job opportunities for the students. After receiving the certificate, the students could also choose to set up their own business to open their own shop. And in order to know the progress with the poverty alleviation, I'd like to have an interview with the local official. Good morning, sir. Could you please talk about the poverty alleviation? We are in the Dongxiang Autonomous County. It's in the northwest of Gansu. 
province. It is one of the designated areas for the poverty alleviation in the province. By the end of 2013, we have 109,000 people living in poverty, but today this number has been significantly reduced because the central government is promoting the poverty alleviation work. Today, the incidence ratio of poverty here is only 4.25. We have 12,800 people still living in poverty. But by the end of this year, it is expected that all of these people could be lifted out of poverty and start to live a better life. Today, the local governments have decided to develop four economic bouts locally. This would help to structure the whole layout of local businesses. We are also developing facility-based agriculture and the flexible plantation areas, as well as vegetable plantation areas. We also have three pillar sectors for the economy. The first is the animal husbandry. The second is the catering sector based on the good food of Dongshang Autonomous County. Today, we have more than 3,000 restaurants involving 300, uh, involving 35,000 local farmers. And here, the local people are working very hard. They are not afraid of the workload. This is a very important character. We also have people going out to other areas and cities to find a job. Another pillar sector is the plantation. First product is the potato. This is one of the traditional sectors for plantation in Dongxia Autonomous Area. For example, this year we have 62,000 mu of plantation of potatoes. Another is the traditional herbal, Chinese herbal. And the third is the quinoa in collaboration with Sinopec. Last year, the Sinopec has made a very huge investment to help our county. Moving forward, our top priority would be stabilization of the income for farmers. And that would be closely connected to the sustainable poverty alleviation in areas. So first of all, we have to consolidate the results or the achievements of the poverty alleviation in our area. And then we also have to sustain the good mechanisms of work and the spirits of people. Another thing is that we have to work more to prevent people already out of poverty to fall back into that situation. So every day, on a daily basis, we have to run a supervision to see if people have run into another new difficult situation, if they have new headaches. And then for the sectors of business, first of all, we have to consolidate the current progress. And on that basis, we could 
do some more deep processing work. For example, set up the processing park for the potatoes, for the herbs. With the deep processing, we could help to increase the value attached to the product. Thank you very much. According to the introduction of Mr. Yang, the leader of the autonomous county, we could know that the look has been totally changed here in this area, and people are embracing a better life in the future. And that is all for today's program. Thank you for staying with us.